Good afternoon. Um, I'm Walker Swain, Director of Business Development at Silverchair. In a alternative version of the program that I saw, this session was entitled Silverchair Values or Silverchair's Values. This is not going to be a moralizing, heavy-handed thing about how great we are. Um, that said, Silverchair is very proud of our culture. We want to be a great place to work, and we want that, therefore, to show through in our work. Um, I mentioned that to set up that we base our company's culture so up until recently on four core values. Listen and assume positive intent. Speak your mind. Be honest and constructive. Solve problems with creativity and empathy and always act with integrity. Given the immense emergent potential of AI over the past 12 to 18 months, um, as a tech company, we've always sought to be innovative, but we have decided as with the enormous potential for AI to change, not just the publishing industry, but the digital landscape as a whole, that we needed to elevate innovation into one of those core values. So after sourcing quite a few options from discussions and putting it to a company vote, we I'll shift back and uh, to show that we did add a fifth company value kind of on the masthead, if you will, of our company's culture that is innovating with purpose and adaptability. I set all that up to introduce to you today the Silverchair AI Lab, which is the first and best so far example of um, this new value we're adding to our, um, to our core values. This is a place for us to iterate on new AI tools, a place for prototypes, for betas, for our, both our internal teams and our client base to try to break things, to give us a chance to fix things, to take feedback, all oriented towards solving real world problems, deliberately producing the best AI tools that we can uh, within the Silverchair platform ecosystem, if you will. The first three prototype tools that we are in the process of spinning up from the AI lab, um, on this side you have AI generated summaries, that's relatively self-explanatory. These are dynamic summaries generated on the front end um, based on the content of an article intended to enhance accessibility and discoverability. Over on the other side, we have what we're calling dynamic discovery. This is based on a RAG or retrieval augmented generation model. Think of it this way, you have a GPT-like interface, you pose a question to it based on an, uh, a publisher's content set. The generative AI then gives you an answer to that question contained in the answer are clickable citations back to the source articles, therefore increasing, increasing click throughs, eyeballs on your content, so on and so forth. This third uh, product in the middle, Silver Chat, I'm going to talk a little bit more about. Um, this is intended, as that first bullet point says, to be your personal platform expert as you're a user of the Silverchair platform. The Silverchair platform is built around six self-service tools. As you can see in the screenshot, this client-facing version of Silverchat, I'll talk about our internal version in a second and how we got here. This client-facing version of Silverchat is intended to be an internal, sorry, an in-tool chat box, if you will. So if you have a question, be it very general or very, very technical and specific, you can pose that question within the tool without having to back out and send an email, whatever. This model, the Silver, Silver Chat model is trained on all of our internal specifications, tools, documents, other content, et cetera. It is what we call a walled garden um, based on all Silver Chair content. If you ask it, why is the sky blue? It might not know the answer because that isn't necessarily stated clearly in Silver Chair's documentation. But if you have, again, a very specific question about the Silverchair platform specification, we've got you covered. Um, we spun this up initially as an internal tool that's been very, very helpful. For example, in my case, on the business development side, if I receive a question from a prospective client, um, I'm able to answer it very efficiently uh, without necessarily having to pull time from others to get a lot of input or something like that. Um, we iterated on this tool, uh, our AI team took feedback from the internal users such as myself and thinking with that adaptability part, uh, what would be the best way to deploy this for our clients? We settled on the 
in tool chat box right here um, with the purpose to quote this all in terms of the core value. Um, we want to solve as many problems for our clients as we can. We want to be true partners. That's obvious um, based on client feedback, um, making our internal spec available in a readily accessible, digestible way, even for less technical staff at our client publishers is going to answer what we've heard as an expressed need and desire from a lot of our clients. Um, if any of this sounds interesting, please consider participating in our AI webinar series, which is forthcoming. You can reach out at ai.lab at silverchair.com for details on that. And if you have not yet signed up for the Silverchair uh, newsletter in general, there's all sorts of innovation news coming both on the AI front and in general. Please visit our main website and do so. We'd love to stay in touch. Thank you guys very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference.